How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Videos. Uh, this is Kindle Touch for Beginners. I'm going to do a quick run through of all the basic things you need to know to uh, operate your Kindle Touch. Um, so let's start with um, just the exterior of it. So at the bottom right here you have your uh, micro USB slot. You have your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack which is standard. Most um, like Walkman, CD player, iPod have the same jack. This is your power button right here. And so uh, just to show you, normally if your Kindle sits for too long, it'll actually switch to a sleep mode in which it'll show uh, special offers. So to get it off of the special offer mode, you're going to go ahead and just press that button one time and it'll take you right to the home screen. Okay, so this is your home screen of the touch. Um, so first things first, um, your menu button is right here. And in menu, you're going to be able to turn on your wireless to connect to a Wi-Fi network. If you have a 3G one, you're going to use that in order to connect to 3G. Um, if you want to go right to the Kindle store, you can either hit shop in Kindle store or there's a little basket or shopping cart right here. You can tap there and that takes you right to the Kindle store to look for books. Um, you can view your archived items and what that is is that's anything you've ever purchased with your Amazon account. So let's say if you've purchased a book in the past or um, like a magazine. Uh, I even have a uh, newspaper subscription. It's all saved under the archive. In fact, I'll show you real quick. So view archived items. And I have LA Times. And actually up to today. So if I tap on there. It'll let me pull up that newspaper. Now let me explain why this is important. I've never loaded that onto this Kindle before. I actually loaded that on the Kindle Fire. But because I use the same Amazon account, it's all linked together. So that's why it has, you know, it has today's date. So I can pretty much tap on there and download it and be able to read it right now. Okay? So that's the cool thing about archived items. Any book that you've... Um, you purchased or magazine stuff like that will be saved in there and let's say if you look right here it actually shows we're on page one of three so if I want to jump to page two all I have to do is take my finger and swipe to the left and that's page two and I swipe again and that's page three okay and now if I want to jump back to the home screen hit that button at the bottom and now I'm back to the home screen Okay, now on this home screen is important. This is actually going to show you everything that you have currently loaded on your Kindle uh, Touch. So this is a book that I'm currently reading, DNA of Relationships. You have the Kindle User Guide. Uh, this is the newspaper I just downloaded. Uh, a book here. I can swipe to the right, look at page two. A couple other things right there. Okay, at the bottom you have special offers. This is that's always going to be there. So. Um, that's just always an advertisement that's going to come up that's from Amazon. Um, also, at the top we have this little search bar. And this pretty much will work with whatever you're currently looking at. So since we're in the home screen, if I want to search through which items I have on the Kindle, I would type or tap up here and then type in what I'm looking for. So if I type in DNA... Um, and hit go, the DNA of relationships comes up because this is the book that I'm currently reading. So it comes right up. Now, I don't have a lot of things on this Kindle. I only have like a, about 10 items. So um, I wouldn't really need to use that. But let's say if you have hundreds of books and you need to jump to a book really quick, you would type it in right there and it would take you right there. Um, upper left corner, we have this little back arrow. This will always take you back one step. So wherever you were looking at on the previous screen, it'll take you back there. If I hit it again, it'll take me back to here. If I keep going, it'll take you back one screen. So before there, remember I was on this screen looking at the settings. Um, so that's all that does. If you want to jump back, that's pretty simple. If you're in, um, if you're on a, a different screen, like right now we're in settings, and you want to go back to the home screen. Guess what? Home button that's going to take you right back to the home screen okay now let me tell you a little trick if you want to um, 
not see the special offers at the bottom, I believe, and we can check right now, if you turn off the wireless, it'll actually get rid of the special offers. And nope, that's not true. There was some screen I was on recently, and I swear the special offers didn't show up on there. Mainly where you're going to see it is on the home screen, and you're going to see it on your sleep screen when um, it puts the Kindle to sleep. So, it's just part of the, one of those things that's just built in, just got to deal with it. Um, so anyway, uh, let's go over a few more things. Let's go to the store real quick. This is where we go to actually download books. Um, so we have a selection up here, magazines, books, uh, newspapers, audiobooks. I'm going to do separate videos on how to download individual like audiobooks. All these different things and kind of show you what those look like. At the bottom here we have recommended content. So it will actually recommend books based on the books you've already downloaded. Now watch this. If you take your finger you can actually swipe to the left and see more options. We can swipe again. Remember, it's touchscreen, so, um, you know, it gives you that option to be able to use the touch. So, there's that. Let's actually go into a book so you can actually see what the reading experience is like. Go ahead and hit the home screen, home button right here so we can go back. So, I'm going to go into the book I'm currently reading, which is The DNA of Relationships. I'm going to go ahead and tap on that. So, take me right into the book. And so, um... If you want to change the page, there's two ways you do it. If you want to go back, pretty much from about here to the left, if I tap, it'll take me to the previous page. Okay? And pretty much from here to the right, I can tap and it takes me the other direction. See that? So it's pretty quick. And then if you tap at the top, pretty much from right here up, that's how you bring up the menu okay so this was actually a song that I loaded on there there's a option that lets you actually play music while you're reading and I'll show you that in a second um, but at the bottom here you have where it has two A's and this is where you would actually go to change the font font size so we tap on there we can change the style we can change the spacing so if I want to go large text or excuse me large spacing I can go medium, I can go small spacing to get more on the page. You can change the number of words per line. So we can go fewer or more. It kind of just changes the margins there. I don't particularly care for that too much. Uh, let's go back to style. So I can change the size of the letters. You know, if your eyes aren't that good, this will kind of help you out. Or maybe you're a big reader and you don't mind having super tiny ant print. If you like ant print or ant size prints, uh, you know, do you? But for me, uh, I don't need it this big, but not that small. So, um, and this will take me to another important point. Right now, it kind of froze a little bit. So, if it freezes, what you want to do is you want to hold down on the home button for about 20 seconds. And what it'll do is it'll actually reset the Kindle and it'll uh, turn it off turn it back on again so I'm still holding it and it actually tells you all this in the manual as well so I'm not just grabbing this out of the air here okay and I'm gonna go ahead and tap it again in fact let's hold down and now it's doing a little reset here so it's turning it back on and now I can go back you know it is a technological device it will freeze up every so often so just want to hold down that power button it will go ahead and reset for you so it's going through its little process here um, the last thing I'm going to show you before we end the video is um, how to uh, or where do you go to play music and there's a, another video I did that shows you how to transfer your music onto it so Look, uh, check out my channel and there's a video on how to do that too so just about done here now I'm back to the home screen so now what we're going to do is hit on uh, click on menu upper right corner and we want to go to where it says experimental so click on that 
this is where you're actually going to go to um, if you want to browse the web you would go here here is the mp3 player so if you want to listen to your music you would tap on there and that's how you pull up a song and listen to it and then right here this is called text to speech this will actually give you the option to have the Kindle read to you it's not audiobooks audiobooks is separate those are professional people reading the book to you but this, with certain books, you can turn on text-to-speech and it will begin to read to you. And you can choose like a male voice, female voice, and you can also edit like how fast it reads. But this is where you would go to turn on that feature. It's still an experimental feature, so it doesn't work that great. But nonetheless, that's where it is. So this, is, uh, this has been Kindle Touch for Beginners. I uh, hope that was helpful. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video. And have a good one.